Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Today I have a product that does come out officially tomorrow, but look at this. This is the Polaroid Go. Look how small that is. That's my hand. That's the box. Like this, the box. This is a more traditional Polaroid camera. Look at that. It's actually the box of this is smaller than this. This is an Instax mini camera. That's about the same size as the box here. We're gonna be taking a look at this, opening this for the first time, and taking a look at the film, and then we'll be shooting. So this is gonna be cool. I can't wait to open this up. I've been using instant cameras for a while now. I'm more of a digital person with this camera and other Canon cameras that I have. I like little mirrorless cameras, but ever since I got a Polaroid, it kind of just brought me in this whole new world of instant photography. For a friend's birthday, oh my god, it is tiny. It looks like a toy. For my friend's birthday, I brought my Instax, but today, look at that. Look at how tiny it is. It looks like a, a toy fake camera that you would think, okay, I got this on eBay. I know this is not going to do anything, but come, oh my god, look at it. Look at how small it is. Is this, is this actually going to, oh, it's so tiny. Look at that camera. Look at this little camera. And look, this is how people hold it in like their ads and stuff. You hold it like this because it's so tiny. Look at that. Look at a traditional Polaroid camera. Look at this. It is tiny. Don't focus on my face. Focus on the camera. The camera is what matters. Look at that. Look at that. It's tiny. It is tiny. And by the way, this does use new film. This uses Color Go Film. So it comes in packs of 16 here. By the way, the camera does go for $99.99. Um, film goes for $19.99, but you do get 16 photos, not the usual eight from Polaroid or 10 from Instax Mini. So let me see. Please have some battery. Wait, how are you doing this on? All right, so first of all, as we can see in the side here, it does charge with micro USB. Why not USB-C like every product should? Maybe it's just a little bit extra, something they don't want to put in right now, but come on guys, just, just USB-C every charging thing so that I can use one cable. They do give you a nice little cable here, and look, you get a, a lanyard, but it's only one side. Usually with this, you have this giant strap thing. Look at this. Where's the lanyard go? Oh, it goes right there. It's literally just gonna be hanging off my side. It's gonna be on my wrist. It is not heavy at all. All right, let's take a close look before we go more into this entire camera. That's the front. I'm now looking at you through the camp, through the viewfinder here. That's the flash lens, of course. On the top, we have our photography button. We have our flash button. Maybe that is to turn the flash off. I would hope so because sometimes I do take photos with the flash off. Look at the way it's contoured. It is beautiful. It is really, really nice. Now the one thing is I wish I could have gotten this in all black. I am like an all black everything in my wardrobe. This is nice, it definitely stands out, but it's the only one that's gonna be available for right now. Look at the way this catches the light. It is beautiful. And let's just see here. It seems to load the same way. Wait, I wanna see if I can figure this out on my own. I'm not a big manual person, and I do like to figure things out for myself. In the, oh, there's a power button. It's literally right here. Do you have, all right, so a long press turns it on. Right now there's no film, of course. We're gonna go like this. Do you do something? Oh, it says zero. So I just don't think it's gonna go, but let's see, if we hit this flash button, does it do anything? Long press, uh, possibly, possibly this negates the flash. Look at that, okay, here we go. Long press, and that goes off. Maybe this is a flash, like, setting. Like, 
long press here. This button is on, maybe that means flash is on. Long press here, and then it turns off. Let's take a look at the manual. Again, I'm not a manual person. I will be loading film into this, but we're gonna be learning about this together. So what do you receive here? Look at the tiny stickers. That is really cute. And you know what, putting, on, putting in something like this, you could decorate the entire backside with something, maybe even one of these films. You can just stick it on the back here, or you can just stick it like this. It is a canvas to make it personal for yourself. Um, let's see, we have the green light here. I don't know how much battery is left. I have not charged it at all. Let's see here. So we have our information. If you want to pause the video and take a look at this yourself, uh, be my guest. And here, this is the how to get everything running. So let's look at this together. Turn on Polaroid Go camera by pressing the on-off button. The film counter display will show you how many photos you have left. It should be zero. Slide the film door button across and pull the door open, as we're gonna do here in a moment. Match the color on the film cassette with the color indicated on the camera. Slide the thick end of the cassette in first and let it drop into place. Leave the pull tab on as you will need it later to remove the empty pack of film. So as we do this, let's actually open this up and see what this tiny pack of film looks like. So normal film, well they're tiny. So it is a double eight pack. It's not that there are 16 shots in a single pack. It is eight, but you do get two inside of each. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna load this film here. Free stickers inside to display your favorite Polaroid Go moments. Oh, you know what? So these are back stickers. So while these may not be adhesive, you just put these on the back and you can stick them anywhere. That's so smart because I don't like peel apart film and maybe it would add a little bit too much to the, uh, the thickness of the film, but this is a great happy medium. All right, let's see here. I should be able to do this on my own. Again, not a manual person. All right, so we open up the camera here. If you wanna take a look, that's what's inside our camera. And look, arrows here, arrows here. So the first thing to come out here, this is the little protector. Um, it says, do not remove the dark slide. This is what actually protects the film as it's kind of out in the open for the moment in between being in this package and this little camera. And it's still tiny. It feels light. Remember, you did add a little bit of weight with the film, but it is tiny, tiny. Um, one thing to know, this does take 10 to 15 minutes to actually develop. Same with regular Polaroid, this kind of Polaroid. But if you are familiar with Instax cameras, this one is literally about two minutes. So it's a lot quicker. So you're maybe comparing the size of this. It's still gonna take the Polaroid time about 10 to 15 minutes to develop. Now let's see this. This is the comparison. So this one is just about the same height. In reality, it's just about the same height. It is short. Oh, wow. Look how short that is. Look at all the rest of that camera on the other side. It is so much shorter. Let's see, how wide is it? This is a small... You know what? When they said that this was the smallest instant camera, I thought, okay, it's going to be small, but it's gonna, they're going to compare it to, and they do on the website, the normal Instax uh, camera. They don't actually say the weight of the Mini, which is what everybody wants you to compare this to. But looking at this, this camera is smaller than the Instax Mini. Look at that. It is legitimately smaller. But actually, yeah, this would do it exactly the same because this one, um, in not tight jeans, but maybe in shorts as I'm gonna be outside taking photos of literally everything, um, this, fits in my pocket. This, which is smaller, 
this will fit in my pocket. Let me just, let's do the pocket test on a normal pair of jeans. It fits. Do you see that? This fits. And it's not like, I mean, it's bulky, it's, it's big. So normally I'm gonna be leaving this on the outside and maybe on a lanyard or something, but this fits. The one thing I noticed on here is with this, this has the little, what do you call this? The thread for tripods. But what I do is I have a special thread that allows me to put this on my belt. This does not have, I think my cats are fighting. This does not have that little thread. So while you can lanyard something, um, it's, it's gonna be hard to actually like clip it to my belt, but that's what you do when you, you do sacrifice some convenience for portability. Now look at this. It is tiny. How do I make this look like this is not just a photoshopped image? Like that. That one looks good, doesn't it? I'm just gushing over this thing. Does this look cool? That looks cool. Boom. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna make this a two-part video, so the next video is gonna be me shooting because I don't wanna take photos in my place. I'm going to Times Square, and I'm gonna take photos there. I'm gonna learn on the go with one full pack of film, and I'll try to film everything as I am doing this, but this, this is tiny. Maybe we'll talk to some people, maybe we'll be like, they'll be like, what is that? tiny thing because they're going to notice it. It's white and I usually wear a, a lot of dark colors. So they're going to notice it on me. I'm definitely going to put this lanyard on here. I am excited. And also with instant photography, I am very, very ready to make a mistake and for a photo to come out blurry. But that's literally, you know, that's, that's kind of what you have to go through with instant photography. It's not like your cell phone or a DSLR or mirrorless camera where you can take an infinite amount of photos, um, I guess compared to your storage, this is, look at that, oh look, this is with the lanyard. So this is just gonna go here. It's nice, soft cloth material and it's right there. It's on here and now going to Times Square, no one can steal it away from me unless they rip it off my hand. But all right guys, any questions about this, I'm gonna be releasing this video as soon as I can, and then going out there and filming, uh, sorry, and then shooting on this, because this is gonna be an extremely exciting camera. And again, the only reason why I'm not doing this here right now is because I want to take good photos. It is nighttime, but we're gonna see how this does, because one of the things is Polaroid, this Polaroid, the one step two, and I believe the now is about the same quality, is they don't really do well with night life and night photos. The Instax does better, but still it is not an amazing low light shooter, but because we're gonna have so many lights around us in New York, I'm gonna try and steady my hand, get some good photography, and yeah, that's it. But one more thing, I just wanna find out if long pressing that flash button will disable flash or not. All right, let's see. Close the film door, remove dark slide, aim at your subject and press the shutter button. The flash will trigger automatically. Be careful, you don't cover the flash with your finger. Try a selfie, the viewfinder has its own reflective selfie mirror. It does? It does. Wait, can you see yourself? They put a shine, look, there's the, the film light. It really does reflect. I can see myself in the viewfinder. That's amazing. So I know exactly it's right here on me when I take my photo. That's great. All right, the viewfinder has some reflective selfie mirror. Place yourself in the middle of it and then take the photo. The photo will eject underneath the film shield. Leave it there for five seconds. Then gently lift the film shield and let it roll back. Remove the photo. Don't shake the photo. Place your photo in a dark place or face down on a flat surface to shield it from light. Follow the development time on the film pack. Now again, it is not clear. Wait, it has to be clear. It's probably just me. 
I just want to know what happens when you long press the D. Okay, here we go. Flash, self timer, double exposure button. So what is that? What exactly is that mean? So again, we turn this on. Now you can see that I have eight photos. Long pressing this is that same light. What does that mean? So let's see. If I want, I'm not. I'm trying. I'm not going to hit that button. I swear. If I no, I'm not going to hit that button. Is it? I think. See, if I was more familiar with the traditional Polaroid, I use Instax a little bit more. I'd probably know what the double exposure means or if this is going to blink, 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 and then just be self-timer. I believe, now I just believe here, you hold this down while you're taking the photo and it is just, um, that's how you do the double exposure. But, hey, I'm going to be learning with you guys in the next video. I'm trying to get the sticker off with that. Actually, imagine if I just press the button. I'd be heartbroken. All right, guys, we're going to be shooting eight. Eight with this. I'm excited. All right, guys, that's it. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, put all questions and comments in the comments section below. I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. That's it. I will see you next time.